Greetings, everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. It's Friday for me, so I'm excited. Going camping this weekend here at the Walnut Ridge Campground. The next weekend, we're taking a trip to another state park. It's exciting. I love summertime. I am standing in one of my favorite Cougar fifth wheels. This is... I can't remember how long this floor plan's been around. It's been a few years now. It's tried and true because it's got a lot of really cool features. This is a 2024 Cougar 368 MBI. So, why is it one of my favorites? Well, it's just my wife and I now. Uh, we're empty nesters. However, we do have our son and his wife that occasionally like to come camping with us. And we also have friends that occasionally like to come camping with us. And on camping trips, I do sometimes find myself, especially if I'm gone a while, where I have to do some remote work. So this camper fits all of those things, and I'll show you why. As we tour here, directly to my left, we've got our booth dinette. So this will turn into a sleeping arrangement if you want. So you can sleep a person there. I'd say a person, unless you got a couple of small kids, you can sleep them there. You have your theater seats. So these do recline. They have USB charging. You've got cup holders. Back along the back wall, we have a jackknife sofa. So that will turn into a bed also. So you've got more sleeping options. So you've got uh, end tables on each side or nightstand at night, depending. You see, you've got some storage above. You even have a ceiling fan in here, which is awesome. Gives that real residential feel. Directly across from your seating, you've got a nice big TV that is on a swivel. You have your electric-only fireplace. So if you haven't seen my other videos, I always rave about the fireplaces. I love them in my camper. Great for early season, late season camping. But you could also just turn the lights on for a little ambiance if you want carpetless slides which is super nice you've got your three burner stove residential sized microwave residential sized fridge a massive kitchen island with a stainless steel sink i guess technically it's a 50 50 because you do have that partition in there you've got the detachable chef sprayer drawers and cabinets galore underneath your kitchen island let me show you the inside of that fridge freezer. So as you see, you should have no problem with a week or maybe even two weeks worth of groceries in there. You have some additional storage here for blankets, pillows, board games, whatever you want. I even love like the lighting above it. They've done a really nice job on this unit. AC unit right there. And it's the quiet cool. So the unit is actually sitting on top. So it is going to be quieter in here. So one of the things I was talking about was when traveling and working remote or friends and family coming to stay, check this out. You've got your own either spare bedroom for friends and family because, you know, like I said, adult son, him and his wife are going to want privacy. Uh, this will turn into a bed, but not but also you put a TV right there. They've got a lot of storage in here to keep all of their stuff. So if you have teenagers or something and you don't want to look at their mess, you can close the door. It's all contained within. But like I was saying, for a perfect remote working space, you can use this as your uh, remote office, which is really cool. In addition to all the sleeping arrangements we've talked about already, you also have, oh, I'm going to point this out, place to hang your dog leashes, jackets, whatever. I guess you could do a honey-do list here, but who wants a honey-do list when you're camping? Hang your keys. But additional sleeping, you also have this loft right here. So the loft will hold 800 pounds. You get this nice loft here. I would probably use this for additional storage, uh, personally. It does have AC vent up here, so you are going to stay cool. And you can even open that up and get some fresh air if you'd like. But additional sleeping, so say you've got... Uh, like hopefully in the coming years, my son and his wife will have some grandkids. So son and his wife could stay in the room below. Grandkids could stay up here, which is really cool. But I'd use it for storage. Does have the in-command system. Uh, we have some videos on this if you look back. But the, I've had it in several of my campers. I love it. 
you can basically control everything from right here. See your tanks, turn on your lights, run your HVAC, but it also has a mobile app. So you can do all the same stuff from your mobile app. And we have had questions in the past. What happens if your screen goes out? There's actually a well, double fail safe. You can have the mobile app, which would still work. And then down in the pass-through storage on the outside, which I'll show you in a minute, I took the cover off so you can see you can actually run the switches manually if you needed to. Coming back to the back, we've got our bathroom, toilet, of course, place to store your toiletries, a nice, huge shower with a seat. I'm always a big fan of the seat and the shower. Sink with storage below and a medicine cabinet. And then last but certainly not least, we've got our bedroom that does feature a king-sized bed, which is amazing. You've got nightstands on both sides for charging or if you have a CPAP machine or whatever. Second AC back here in the bedroom. A massive closet. So you've got hanging and stacking space in here, as you can see. And, and another closet that also has washer dryer prep. So if you're like... My family and I, and you go on like week-long vacations, it's extremely nice to have the uh, washer dryer with you so you can just wash all your stuff as you go. Directly across from the bed, we've got a bank of drawers for more storage, and you can either mount a TV there, or you can just set a TV there and close this off and have some privacy back in the bedroom. Few things to show you on the outside and we'll also talk weight i didn't pay attention to weight when i came in if you're ever out shopping for rvs as you can see we have a lot 66 acres total but if you're ever out shopping and you wonder how much a camper weighs you can look at this little sticker right here so it's 12,110 pounds unloaded vehicle weight all right so a few things to point out on the outside you do have a nice big awning here but in addition they also give you an awning on this campsite slide so it's called a campsite slide because it's on the side with the door you've got that second awning you've got outside speakers you also have inside speakers massive pass-through storage and here's that panel i was talking about so you can actually run those like your slides or your awning you can run those in manually if you had to place out here to hook a tv if you would like to do so what else to show on the outside? Oh, it is, it does come with uh, solar uh, flex. It's the 220 package. So basically that gives you a solar panel on the top and most of your wiring and stuff is done. You've got some plugs inside. I should have pointed them out when I was in there that will run off that solar. Basically that package, well, there's one for example, they have a little sticker on them. That package will keep, like, you'll be able to keep your battery charged. You'll be able to run your refrigerator. You'll be able to run your slides, like, if you needed to. But what's really cool with those Solar Flex packages is it's super easy to upgrade, and it's actually cheaper. But you can either upgrade when you buy, six months later, a year later, whatever. We had the next package up, which I really liked. Um, and then... All we had to do from there was buy a soft switch for our AC. And I forget, I think it was like an additional inverter or something. And we would have been able to run our ACs. Um, ladder on the back, so it is a fully walkable roof. You can have a backup slash rear observation camera installed. It is a 50 amp unit because it does have the double ACs. A lot of people ask about that too. I should point that out. Just because it's 50 amp, you can step down to 30 amp. You just can't run both your ACs. Or if you're running both your ACs, you can't run certain appliances. It gets a little tricky there. But I have been to campgrounds before when I had a 50 amp unit and we just ran the one AC and had no problem. It was only 30 amp there. Another huge feature, tankless water heater. Love, love, love the tankless water heater, especially if you're at a site with full hookup because you don't have to worry about your tanks getting overfilled. But that's really nice because you can take back-to-back -back showers even if you don't take super long showers. One last thing to point out, if you've hung in this long because I talk way too much, congratulations. Right now, for the remainder of the month, if you buy any Cougar product, fifth wheel, or travel trailer, we actually include the free 
backup rear observation camera, which is a $500 value with your purchase. So you get an extra $500 in value there. All right, I think I flapped my lips enough. As always, if you have questions, comments, um, you want to know more about something I talked about, just drop a comment down below. I would be more than happy to discuss it with you. And of course, if I said something wrong or I did something wrong, definitely point that out. It's always helpful. If you're not camping, get camping because it is fantastic, people. Have a wonderful day.